one of the highest ranking African American women at the NYPD retired at the end of 2018, but her retirement didn't last so long. Juanita Holmes spent 33 years in the force as the head of the school safety division, and now she has come out of retirement to serve as the department's new chief of collaborative policing. And I'm happy to be joined by Chief Juanita Holmes this morning. So good morning to you, Chief. How you doing? Good morning, Dan. Doing well. Uh, I'm glad to hear it. So, Chief, you lasted uh, a year out of retirement after 33 years in the force. You came on in 1987. What made you say, I'm going to retire, but you know what? I actually want to come back. Right. So the job offer, you know, naturally uh, monetary reasons, right? They make you a great offer. In addition to me wanting to travel the world, the company was in a total of 35 countries. Mm. So as a result of such, I uh, took the job. But I realized, quickly realized that uh, this is my calling. My passion is here in NYPD, and I missed it tremendously. I mean, your passion there, it really runs in the family, right? You have five siblings on the force, 16 family members, 10 of them uniformed. So you have one heck of a family who is involved within the NYPD. But you came back pre-COVID, pre-protests, Black Lives Matter, right? The collaborative policing position that you're taking on has a whole new meaning, really, in the urgency in the wake of all this unrest. So what exactly will you be overseeing and doing? So what I, what I would be overseeing is the uh, new reform that's put in place by the governor. And there's some timelines that we have to be met with, that have to be met with, but more importantly, public safety. Um, so it's, it's my thoughts that public safety should be looked at as an ecosystem. Um, and that's just uh, relationships with city agencies as well as community groups, and then being involved with our crime reduction uh, strategies. And also, uh, that's you know, probably at the forefront. I was reading some 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 facets of what this unit will oversee as well, and it's to address complex issues of policing. <clears throat> Excuse me. What do you see as maybe one of the biggest complex issues right now that you have to tackle? Well, relationships, community relationships. Uh, the city right now is in need of healing. Uh, in addition to that, morale with uh, our police officers is another big thing that has to be tackled. And the only way doing that is supporting both groups and bringing them together to support each other. So that's at the forefront. Um, and naturally, we're met with gun violence. And, you know, mm -hmm. the way I feel, my perspective is when you look at gun violence, gun violence should be looked at as a public health issue, right? right? And by forming a public safety ecosystem, um, then I think we're in a better position to address it, to look at gun violence holistically. Um, yeah, and, you know, and, and, and I was cops and community relationships obviously have been strained over the past. Over Labor Day weekend, we saw community leaders actually team up with church leaders in Brooklyn to patrol the streets. Do you see that as a way of collaborative policing, what it will look like, and a way to kind of ease this strain that we're seeing on the streets? Absolutely. It's the community and the police working together. Right. Uh, we're all affected by any crime in the city and we can't police the city without the help of the community, as well as our partners, our other city agency partners, our federal partners. It takes a whole team uh, to create public safety. And I was I was listening to, to and reading some of your articles about you in terms of research for this interview and you had said to to someone that discretion should be used on the streets and discretion is a big part of the job. What did you mean by that? So, I mean, discretion to me is important because, first of all, we have a lot of youth that commit or uh, minor crimes or do silly things. Um, and I just don't believe in putting cuffs or giving a summons to uh, someone just because, it, 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 you know, especially if it's a nonviolent crime and it's something that we can possibly force a relationship with, mm -hmm. maybe bring them into one of our programs, such as Explorers, our Youth Council. We can turn it around and make it a positive interaction. Uh, it doesn't always have to result in uh, uh, some sort of a uh, criminal sanction. I, I got to ask about your family for a second, because you come from a long line of female police officers in your family. At one point, the Holmes sisters were known as the Fab Five. So what did they say? When, they, when you told, there they are on the screen right there. What did they say when you told them, I'm coming back, I'm coming out of retirement, I'm gonna run this collaborative policing division? They said, I knew it, <laughs> you know? They, they knew when I left that I'd be back, um, you know? And, um, you know, they're very proud of me. I'm very proud, equally yeah. proud of them. But uh, they, they pretty much knew that I would be back, that there was a lot of unfinished business that I had here. Uh, and that was pretty much it.
And, and, and you know, you're, you're also a history maker because you became the first female African American borough commander. You're a two star chief, possibly soon to be promoted to a three star chief. And if that does happen, you'd be the first black woman in history to hold that position. But looking down the line, and again in the research, you said once that you would like to be police commissioner. <laughs> Is that true? That's uh, that's quite accurate. Yes, I, I did say that. I stated that at a woman's conference that uh, we had here at NYPD. Uh, it's a challenging position, but um, I, I definitely would one day would love and would be honored uh, to be the police commissioner of New York City. I love New York City. I was born here, raised here. I love the police officers. I love equally love the community. And uh, whatever I can do to make it a better place, um, I would love to do that. So it, uh, uh, it's challenging. I, uh, I admire Commissioner Shea mm -hmm. and all that he does and all that he's dealing with and all that he's met with. But needless to say, even in these challenging times, I would welcome that position. I think anybody who comes out of retirement back to the, to the <laughs> job they once held, it is all about love. Chief of Collaborative Policing, Juanita Holmes, congratulations on the promotion and welcome back to the NYPD. Thank you for making the time this morning. Thank you, Dan.